complete these sentences with the help of the picture clues given. Let's do the first one together. Look at the first sentence. I gave mom a of flowers on her birthday. So children, can you find the picture relevant to the first one? Yes, let's try to find. Here you can see it. What is it? It is not only one flower, it's a bouquet of flowers. So you can use that word bouquet. So what is the answer then? I gave my mom a bouquet of flowers on her birthday. Okay children, like that you can find other answers as well. So read the sentences carefully and try to fill in the gaps using the picture clues given. Okay, hope you have finished your task. Let's see the answers. Now, I have already done the first one with you. What is the answer here? I gave my mom a... Can you remember that one? Yes? It's a of flowers on her birthday. The of musicians in the theatre. So, can you remember the picture here? This one? Yes, you can see there are some musicians. So, they are playing in the theatre. So, the correct collective noun is orchestra of musicians was playing in the theater. And look at the third one. A of ships. So, what do you call for a set of ships? It's a fleet of ships arrive at the dock right on time. And now look at the fourth one. A of lions. So, what do you call for a group of lions? Yes, what is it? It's a kind of lions. It's not something I would want to discuss. So, a of penguins. And so, for a group of penguins, we use a trickery of penguins at the zoo today. Look at the number six. This is received a of ant. So, what do you call for a group of ants? Yes, you can call it a colony of ants for her ant farm. Look at number seven. The children work to the river to feed a of geese. So, do you know geese, children? Yes, what do you call for a group of geese? You can use the dragon of geese here. And the last one, my mother offered a of cake. So, I hope you know the correct answer. What do you call for that? Yes, that is a piece of cake to the visitor. So, children, here also you have learned some new collective nouns. So, try to memorize them as well. Now children, I want you to be ready with your workbook. Take your workbook and turn to page number 33. There you can see this activity, activity 4. Let's read the instruction first. Circle the collective nouns in these sentences. Children, now let's read sentences. A group of sailors landed on the island. Second one, a school of salmon swam up the stream. 
Number three, I had to climb two flights of stairs to go to the new class. So a galaxy of stars. Last sentence, heaps of trash filled with our garbage bin after the holidays. Okay, children, take your time and do the activity quickly. Okay, I hope you have finished the task correctly. Now, let's check your answers. These are the collective nouns you can see in these sentences. Look at the first one. Fourth one, galaxy. The last one, heaps. So, now children, let's do another activity. Look at the activity file given in your page workbook, page number 34. There you can see some pictures and word phrases. So, you have to match the picture with the correct word. Let's read it together. Swarm of bees, of flowers, herd of cattle, collection of stamps, sheep, school of whales, troop of monkeys, flight of stairs, crowd of paper. So, now you have learned a lot about collective nouns. I think you can complete this very easily. So, take a couple of minutes and try to complete it. Okay, children, let's check your answers. These are the answers. So, now you can check with your answers. Look at the first one. Sum of bees. Number of flowers. Number eight. Pride of lions. Number four. Herd of cattle. Number six. Collection of stamps. Number five. Sheep. Number seven. School of whales. Number one. Troop of monkeys. Number ten. Flight of stairs, number two, and the last one, crowd of people, number three. Okay, children, I hope you have got all the answers correct. So now, children, let's listen to a beautiful song of collective nouns. Okay, children, I hope you enjoy the song. Okay, children, now with that, 
we have come to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, you have learned how to use collective nouns appropriately. Before we wind up today's lesson, I would like to, to tell you that try to collective nouns and enrich your vocabulary. Hope to see you soon again with another interesting lesson. Until then, goodbye.